Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another release day unboxing and this time I have a little game called Dragon's Crown on PS3 which of course is a beat em up brawler type game with a, a really unique looking art style, well okay, maybe not unique but beautiful looking art style and it has a lot of cleavage and a lot of really big legged women and sorcerers, boobs and and combos so well, at least I think so but I got this game because I had two games I was gonna trade in I was actually trying to sell two games I had Animal Crossing City Folk on Wii and I had uh, Army of Two The Devil's Cartel and two of those games well th those two games I could trade in at GameStop and get a $60 game for 10 bucks but because this was a $50 game I got it completely free and I had a little extra left over, so I traded in those two games that I was never going to play again. Animal Crossing, because the new one came out. I would, I would never play on the Wii again. And I traded in Army of Two because it wasn't that great. So, I got this. I heard it was really good. Sadly, it's no cross-buy, which means you can't buy this and then expect uh, to have the PS Vita version. If you want both, you have to buy both of them. Uh... That sucks, but uh, whatever, and this game seems like it would be perfect on a Vita, which really sucks. So here you go, here's the front, got some artwork, uh, no cleavage on the front, you know, hiding it. If you want to see it, you gotta buy it, okay, it doesn't even show you on the back too, it shows a little bit, like a tease, but if you want to see it, you gotta play a game, or watch gameplay. There you go, there's the front, some good art style. Here's the back, yeah, you gotta see a little bit, just a little bit, uh, it even says partial nudity. Which, uh, I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, someone's, someone's getting murdered in my house. Sucks, just shut up. Um, I'm trying to make a video. You can get murdered later. Um, blood and gore, partial nudity, suggestive themes. Yeah. Uh, use of alcohol and tobacco and violence. Partial nudity. Uh, yeah. Uh, they might as well just be nude. So, from what gameplay I've seen, it's, it's a little ridiculous, but uh, it looks like a really fun game. I heard really good things. I love brawlers, especially when they're really good, and it's drop and drop out online, and to be honest, I've been clamoring for a little uh, multiplayer beat em up style game, so this looks like it's going to wet my whistle. <laughs> I don't know what that... It, it sounded kind of sexual because I've been talking about the women, so I said it. I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. So... Let's open this up. All right, right. So I'm not expecting much in here. It's a PS3 box, so I don't need to worry about ripping off stickers or whatever. Which is one cool thing about PS3 boxes. Alright. New game smell. Of course. Alright, so wait, hold on. Okay, I thought it got broken or something. Alright, well one thing that's disappointing is that it's a PS3 exclusive and no background, which usually when you get a PS3 exclusive or even just a regular game, on the back of the actual cover art you would get some background or something, and especially a game like this, which is beautiful looking, you would expect some background art, but uh, no, not this time. But you get a nice looking, uh, whatever, is that a dragon? Yeah, it's a dragon. Some nice art right there. You get the disc, of course, which has, the, I think, another dragon. Uh, I, I don't I don't see his crown, so I'm already disappointed. But actually, hold on. No, no crown. Uh, so there you go. Is the manual color. Uh, here's the back of it. Just some mountains. Um, yes, it is. It's in color. So there you go. It's a... Ooh, that almost fell. It's a pretty thick manual. Has some... Uh, Artwork, you see some cleavage, hell yeah. But again, you gotta buy it to see the cleavage. Uh, because you can't open a case when it's new. Gotta buy it. And there you go. There it is. That's Dragon's Crown. There's the front once again. There's the back. There's the side. And that's the unboxing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, look forward to, I'm going to post another video later tonight. It's going to be my Bioshock Infinite Clash in the Clouds DLC review. So look forward to that. It's going to be a, a different type of review, saying that it's a DLC with pretty much no story, no real new voice acting or anything, no real new graphics. It's just the same arenas you know that we've seen before in a game. So look forward to that. It's going to be a different type of review. But uh, it's, a, it's a good one. It's a good one. So... I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you and goodbye.